Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami HD. In the previous episode, we began our journey through Oni Island, meeting Toby, a evil slip of paper that has a thing for racing, and finding Gekigami, who granted us the power of Thunderstorm, allowing us to control lightning itself. Without further ado, we must now delve deeper into the vile, that, that vile shrine of our enemy, the Demon Lord. Hmm? Now that's what I call a statue. Too bad it's wasted on the no-good monsters here. Still, there's just something not right about it. Especially that raised sword there. I've seen Seven Strike, the legendary seven-pronged sword, but never a nine-pronged sword. Is that nine prongs? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only counting eight, unless he's counting the tip, in which case, yeah, that's nine. Well, I see lightning, I see a sword that we've struck before. Let's connect the two. Oops. Kind of shame, act. That actually was a pretty good statue. Oh well, in these treasure chests we have a holy bone ass. Don't know why they're still giving us those, but eh. Guess they can be useful if you don't want to waste a 10 for less health than that. And a crystal. Weird. Thought I heard something. Anyways, heading down here, we see another one of these strange gates. Huh. Oh well. I swear it wasn't me. I didn't touch it. Yikes. Ami, what did you do this time? Better think of something quick. Yeah, this is no different than that security system in the Moon Shrine. Except we don't have to hit them all at the same time. Just gotta hit them all quick enough before their eyes fully reopen. At least I think so. It doesn't really matter in the end. And we now have a side-scrolling area. Which, I remember one part of this being a real pain. Mainly because there's a trap that will... ...cause you to fall a long ways. And if it does, well... ...you're gonna have to do a whole lot of backtracking to get past it. Another one of those, another one of those strange keyholes that most likely will that uh, will require an electrical lock. Eh, platform, platform covered in punji sticks. Well, let's head past that. Eh, just a bunch of pots, but eh, you can get some healing for that hit I took. I gotta bother with the ones up there. Ah, let's see, just gonna use this. Draw a nice line of paw prints that will hopefully get us up onto this platform. Now, gotta be careful here. Especially when breaking the laws of physics. Because if we fall into that slanted area, well, we'll just fall all the way. Now, we could stop there, or we could keep going through here. Now, we got to be very careful running this platform. See those odd ones? That is a trap. Fall down there, it'll send you back quite a ways, and you have to backtrack all the way up here to get by it. This one, dash across. You can't jump it. To get an Exorcism Slip L. We're actually going to need those coming up pretty soon. And be careful not to hit it again, because there's still some more climbing for us to do. This isn't actually where we have to go, but I'd still recommend going this way. Because I believe we can get some good treasures through here. Whoa. That is, if we don't hit that trap. Yep. Yet another pearl. 
Anything else? Nope. Now let's just take this trap down. Be much quicker. Now let's drop down this way, avoid the bamboo spikes. Please don't hit me. Okay, and hit this gizmo. And then it's just more climbing for us. Go on through here, yet more climbing. Avoid the Punji spikes. And then we've got some moving gears we need to climb. That is, if we don't keep hitting our head on it. Come on, rotate around some more. There we go. And we are now out of this area. To another mirror. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have been able to, uh... To, uh, ba -ba 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 get to here with the little time we had left last episode. So, first things first, grab the map. Would have been useful at the beginning, but oh well. Uh, technically, we need to go up this way, but I think we're also going to want to go this way first. Get yet another one of those statues and a locked door. See, I believe if we head through here, we get into... Yep, a fight. Yeah, the Headless Guardian guy's reaction to his stuff getting destroyed just isn't as funny without a head. And I know that I've already collected all of the Demon Fangs I need to get the Holy Artifacts, but having more isn't bad, which would allow you to purchase godly charms. Now then, let's see... There's something I need to do in this room, besides the obvious of get the key, but I don't think I can do it from this side. Well, I can, but not through there. I have to get into that. That, uh, ba -ba -ba, caged room. And you want to know something funny? I didn't realize that that, uh, staircase was there first time I came through, so... I was just trying to use my acrobatics to try and get on top of that door frame to get up here. Could have avoided it the whole time, but oh well. Anyways, more of these electrical platforms. Just gotta keep going across them. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, yes, I get it. I know where I need to go. You don't have to show me. So you head up there, go over here, use our special little key to unlock this chest to get a vengeance slip. Now, I know I haven't been making use of my items here, but there's a reason for that. That's why I want to save them for some, well, some rather difficult stray beads we need them for. Anyways, use Veil of Mist, slow this guy down. Jump up here. And down there is where we need to go. But in order to pull that off, we need to drop the key. Bam. Now, I've made this mistake countless times. Under normal circumstances, I've just grabbed the key, go around, but that's actually not what you're meant to do. Even though, yes, you can use the flames, get rid of those spikes, instead, what you're meant to do is slash this and bomb it. Otherwise, you can't get to that door with the exorcism key. Because there is a massive pit of poison. And as we know from experience, poison cannot be crossed by any means. And there's only a Konohana Blossom on that side.
Believe me, that one took me a while to figure out. Now, even though we technically don't need that key, I still highly, highly recommend going back and grabbing it. Because it will have respawned by the time you unlock that door. Now, I don't get what the point was of the Poonji sticks around uh, this guy and not the other guy, but who cares. Shouldn't be anything else in that room for us to collect, so let's just head on up. Unless there's something hiding underneath the staircase here, if we can get to it. Nope. Okay, then. Keep moving on. So, sir? So you have made it this far, have you? I must tell you, good sir, the time for fun and games is over. <clears throat> for it is my sworn duty to stand guard here. But during our competition... Oh, how shall I put it? I became rather fond of you, good sir. The sight of you risking your life in a gallant charge... That is something I simply must see again. <laughs> Have I failed as a gatekeeper for feeling so? So you see, good sir, I wish to live a life of competition. To come this far only to give up? No, that is not me. I care not if I am a failure as a gatekeeper. Let us make this a race for the ages. Agree. Okay, step on here, second you do, hit the Veil of Mist, and then just book it. I don't know where all that cash came from, but hey, I don't care. There we go. Now, you could have done that without the key, but the key makes it so much easier. Alright, nothing behind there worth risking my life over those... Punji 4. Ah, and here these guys make their reappearance. Well, guess what, buddy boys? We've got your weakness. Well, we've got your floral finisher. Yeah, Thunderstrike is the floral finisher for these guys. Oh, and I may as well hit them with my Thief's Glove, if I can. Come on, I know I can use Thief's Glove while I'm holding this thing. No. Nope. I guess not. Oh well. Alright, let's just finish your friend off and then hit him with a thunder strike. To get a bunch of demon fangs. Oh, and that uh, blue ogre evidently requires a very specific type of ability rather than just the general one. But anyways, yeah, that's what those clouds are here for, to use Thunder Strike against them. But, you know, if you've got the key, hey, even better. Let's see, anything behind that? Nope. And that wasn't how I intended to do that, but oh well, who cares. Yeah, you really didn't need to show me that. I already knew. Although, let me redraw those paw prints a little better. There we go. Really? I hope I didn't lose my key. Okay, good, I didn't. Oh, come on! It's going to be one of those things that's oh so easy, yet still a pain in the ass. Oh, come on, they expired. Okay, okay. Calm down. Wait, I wonder. Yeah, I could just do that. that, that do that. smarter, not harder. Now then, you probably didn't see it, but there is a treasure chest. 
over on that side, but I'm not going to be able to draw the paw prints from that angle. Anyways, yes, there is a treasure chest over on that side, but a blocking spider's blocking the way. No way you're going to be able to jump past it and onto that platform. So what you're going to want to do is draw the paw prints in a way that they reach the other side. No, not quite like that. There we go. And you can bypass the spider altogether. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Yet another pearl. Giving us a lot of those. But I'm not going to complain about all the cash that they bring in. Whoa. Forgot about that guy. Anyways, just do what you always do to get past him. And these guys once more. Just kill him in the usual. <clears throat> just kill him in the usual way that you always do. Not gonna even bother getting, trying to get the demon fangs off of these guys. Ah, ears are cheap. Jeez, this is just the day where everything is itchy on me during my recordings, isn't it? Ah, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I believe we are actually very near to the end, so we may be able to finish off Oni Island in this episode. Though that all depends on this guy. Gaha! I am Blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Er, wait. Make that none shall pass. Oh, you again. You really want me to keep picking at your weak points? What are you talking about? Ahem. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. You are that terrible assassin who has been slaying my brethren. The White Demon of Death. <laughs> Looks like you got a new nickname, Furball. I foresaw your coming. I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Be warned, I am far different from my brethren. Though you may be the White Demon of Death, you cannot slay me. Now be on your way. You shall not pass. Wanna bet, pal? Now, this guy's got five weak points. And that actually seems rather easy. Doot, 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 doot. Got him. Oh my, so that is the true power of the White Demon of Death. You so easily struck at my weak points. And after I trained so hard to cover them up, too. I, Blockhead, submit to defeat. Still, I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Do not dishonor me, at least in my hour of death. I shall succumb to oblivion with honor. I am indeed no match for you, good sir. Your eyes, ever focused on tomorrow, have led you to the climax. Of course, I do not mean our petty little races. Oh, mighty warrior who seeks the castle summit on Oni Island. The true climax of your adventure is close at hand. Uh, Toby never felt such competitive fire until you, good sir. Though I cannot join you, I shall send you off with a final dash. Scrap. All right, good sir. Now for the race to end them all. Make it one that I shall never forget. Which, ironically enough, this is actually going to be the easiest one. So just draw a cherry bomb. Just draw it as small as possible. And you can see the Konohana Blossom. This is not going to be a difficult fight. Hit the switch. Use the ability. And then run on through. Truly amazing, good sir. I am so glad we could part like this. I hope my final dash pleased you, good sir. <laughs> you're not half bad for a scrap of paper. And even though you're an enemy, I guess I should commend you. 
I feel so very fortunate to have such a great man as yourself witness my final moment. Hey, hey, Scrap! Why are you talking like you're about to vanish at any second? I have violated the precepts and shall tru thusly be erased. So it is I who must bid you farewell. I shall now accept my fate for abandoning my duty as a gatekeeper. Y you mean... Oh, don't be sorry for me, good sir. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it, and no one can ever take that away from me. Though I may have been born a mere servant of spirits, I should at least be allowed to do what I please at my passing, for otherwise my life would have been in vain. I fear I shall not be able to guide you the rest of the way. I wish I had a bouquet of flowers to present you at this farewell. But alas, I must part with you empty-handed. Please forgive me. Farewell, good sir. And good luck. Uh, ah, Toby. You are one of the good ones, Toby. It was more than a petty little race. Perhaps I wouldn't even have gotten this far without you. With that true spirit of competition you showed me, I can now face the biggest challenge of my life so far. Indeed. Now let's see, can we even reach that? I don't think that we... Oh, no, yep, yeah, we can. Don't think I ever actually got this treasure chest because I never noticed these things, but... Within is... Another crystal. Good cash. I would have preferred Kutani pottery because that's even more, but meh. Really shouldn't complain. Here we have yet another mirror, but I shall not be using it. Here's hoping my recording doesn't corrupt in some way. And yet another golden gate. And for once, this isn't just there for the sake of being there. This is there. Because the big bad is up above. Let's see what this... Demon Lord, or Dark Lord, whatever he wants to call himself, or herself actually, has for us. <clears throat> you feel that weird vibe this place has given off on me? It may be quiet now, but I've got a major case of the creeps. I know she's watching us from the shadows. She's ready to strike at any moment. You ready, Ami? Hell yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. Now I can't wait to cut loose and go berserk. Let's teach that fox-headed wench a lesson. So, where is she? Hello? Fox-headed wench. Well... Looks like we finally reached the top of the castle. Now where's that fox-headed wench hiding? The great Isun's gonna avenge Queen Himiko. And Rao, don't forget her. Whoa, that is one freaky looking moon. Constellation? Here? I can't believe it could shine in such an evil place. Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this one. But we don't have any choice. Yeah, that doesn't look friendly. There she is. Nine tails. Ho 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 ho. So, Amaterasu. You have crept into my castle like a sneaky little mouse, have you? I don't know if creep is really the right uh, 
sense to use here. By the power of Yami, ruler of the land of darkness, I, Ninetales, have been made lord of Ryoshima Coast. You needn't have come all this way just for me to kill you. I would have found you and done so just the same. Just like I did to Queen Himiko. Yami, Land of Darkness. Never heard of either of them. And I don't remember ever giving you my okay to rule Ryoshima Coast. Yami is the absolute ruler of all evil beings. He is the ultimate symbol of darkness. And he is nothing like those false gods of your fairy tales. False gods? You're the one going around pretending to be a priestess and a building and building fishy hideouts like this. We're gonna expose you for what you are once and for all. <laughs> we shall see, oh furry one. Prepare to face the wrath of my terrible power. A power far beyond your so-called gods. Yeah, she's not going to be an easy fight, but like with anyone else, we need to use those lightning strikes against her. And here's a fun little tidbit. And I kind of wish more bosses did this, but if you actually stay too long on the brush stroke screen, she will actually draw something. But, if you try to counter her, I believe it should work. It does not. Uh, why can't I... There we go. Don't know how that happened, but you're going to want to hit her with electricity. That splits her apart into several different forms. Now, you know all of those, uh... <laughs> exorcism slips I've been saving? You're going to want to lose use the large ones. Essentially, it's a tactical nuke that'll take them all out. Well, almost all of them. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I've already lost in terms of damage. Oh, come on, stupid tracking shots. And as you can see, she has now lost some tails. Ooh, dragonfly beads. Not really something I wanted, but oh well. Ew. I don't even want to know what that is. Anyways, all you can do is wait for her to raise up her sword. Ow. And then strike it with some lightning once more. And then even more of her form shall show up. Now there's that one that's floating up above you. Yeah, don't bother. There are actually a couple of funny ones in here, like that fat one and that elderly one way over there. Not much of a threat. Not what I intended to do, but okay. I was going for a power slash. But now that they have all been taken down, we see her true form is nothing more than a mangy, messed up little fox. Not all that different. Raises up her sword, strike with lightning to do a ton of damage. Still uses all her same moves, but she gets tired after using some of them. Come on. Come on, it wouldn't even let me move to get a lightning strike ready. But anyways, yeah, she's not all that difficult once you know what to do. And that whole sword thing was the reason that all of the triggers for the electricity and the doors was a sword. To teach you, hey, you see that sword? Strike with it. And for all our trouble, we get a new glaive. You obtain Divine Instrument, Blade of Kusanagi. Jade-edged glaive obtained upon the defeat of Nine Tails. Himiko's death had been avenged. Amaterasu's tenacity had proven too much for Nine Tails. The fearsome beast lay defeated, its true nature laid bare for all to see. In death, it was reduced to no more than a tired old fox. Oni Island, pining for its master, raised a din and began to crumble. Like a funerary offering, it scattered into flowers. Otohime, who had transformed into the water dragon, 
Return to the Dragon Palace, her role fulfilled. Ninetales' monstrous countenance removed from its master, moved skyward, transforming into a wisp of pure and utter blackness. There, it joined the spirit of its defeated master. Even Blight showed up, lending a hand to the fallen Ninetales. Pulsing and undulating, they intertwined in midair. Then, the black mass moved towards the land to the extreme north. Four such blackened spirits had emerged from Orochi's corpse. Perhaps these two were off to join their remaining brethren. Left behind were Ninetales' words about the Dark Lord Yami. Could it be that this formidable creature resided to the north? Amaterasu, sensing a dark presence, trembled. The diminutive Isu, who had accompanied Amaterasu bravely, felt a tinge of hesitation in his heart, for he had predicted that the journey would end when all thirteen powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a tiny frown creased his frame. At any rate, their next target was waiting in the frozen north. Their adventure was far from over. No time to rest on your laurels, Ami. Feeding Ninetales didn't bring Himiko back. But at least you can send her spirit off with a heroic howl. That a girl, Ami. Send her spirit off to its final rest. Eh, didn't get as much as we could have, but it's still a nice chunk of change. Of course I want to save the game. But, with that, we have come to an end for this episode of Okami HD. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.